my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have the Ipsy or Boxy Charm, whatever you want to call it, for September. I am super excited. I like every product in here except for maybe one, and that is a total win for me. I skipped the, what do you call that? The Icon Box last month, which is a very rare for me. It just didn't look good. I don't normally look at the spoilers, but the spoilers weren't exciting. Anybody I saw unbox it, it just didn't look exciting, so I skipped it. Anyway, I was super excited with my choices this month. Um, let's start with a product that I was not excited about, and I am still not excited about. I did try it. Anyway, this is the Dominique um, Eyebrow Pencil. At first, I was like, nope, don't want it. Then I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a whirl. Um, also, I would, like, for the people at Ipsy, I feel like they should wait to put things on sale until, like, a month after it was in a box. I mean, this could have been around for, like, a thousand years in other box, like, in boxes previous. I have no idea. But when I went online to make a little sheet about prices, um, this is regularly $25. You can now buy it on Ipsy for $5.99. And it makes me feel like I got a $5.99 product. In all honesty, a eyebrow pencil is pretty much a $5.99 product. Anyway, I do like the spoolie, and this is definitely necessary to, like, make it look anything close to brows. I am not an expert. I don't use brow pencils normally, but this particular shape to me is fairly hideous. It is a big block. It is kind of thinner on the side. But I've occasionally tried a brow pencil and they tend to do like almost like hair light flicks. This is like draws a line. And again, I'm not at all like good at this. So it could be me. Thankfully, the spoolie does blend it in. But I, I just, to me, this is an instant in the trash product, which is fine. Like I am super happy with everything else. I do have it set on my preferences that I do not want these. But needless to say, we get them anyway. Uh, like I said, I love everything else. So it's a win. I don't know what we spend for this box nowadays. $33, something like that. I don't know. First product. Super excited to try. This is the Perlice Tinted um, Vitamin C Cream, something or other. $36 value. So Sheer Glow Strawberry Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer. There was the word I couldn't find. I absolutely love trying anything foundation related. They could send me a foundation every month and I'm not sure I would get tired of it. Um, vitamin C, I will say, is the only iffy part and it made me pause before I picked this because some vitamin C is fine. Some vitamin C or even too much vitamin C makes my skin turn red. But this also has one of my favorite ingredients, which is peptides, and it has five peptides. So I am just beyond excited. This pays for the box. Um, it also has other good ingredients, um, glycerin, triglycerides. The five peptides for me are the star product. Um, so anyway, I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see. Vitamin C uh, and sea buckhorn helps brighten and even out. Blueberry helps antioxidants, promotes healthy skin. Cranberry is for hydration. I've never heard of that. But anyway, I am super excited. This is in the uh, shade Light. So this is a total win. Loving, loving this. Fingers crossed it works for my skin. Uh, if I have any other sort of maybe eh uh, product, it is the Amina Sugar Scrub. I love Sugar Scrub. So this is a, a win. We will totally use this. I will just say you see Amina in everything. You can get it at TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls. So anyway, I we love Sugar Scrub. This is a total win. The value is theoretically $20. Um, and this is, is a Rose Quartz. Um, I don't really feel like it smells like rose, which is totally fine. Again, like I said, I love Sugar Scrub. This is a win. I just feel like you see Amina everywhere, which I waters down the value. But anyway, super excited. Absolutely will use this 100%. Uh, beyond excited for this, and it had good reviews on Ipsy. This is Koa Life 
um, copper peptide toner. As I just said, peptides, ceramides are my number one favorite ingredient. Peptides are close number two. Um, both are really good ingredients for helping keep your skin looking its best as long as possible. And um, copper peptides have had some buzz. I guess you're not supposed to use them with vitamin C because it oxidizes the vitamin C quicker or something like that. Or the vitamin C oxidizes the peptides quicker or something. Anyway, I love using a morning spray. So um, beyond excited. And this has very like a few ingredients, like five or less ingredients. Um, the only two in my mind that are notable are copper peptides, which I believe is the number one ingredient. Maybe not. Let me see. Yeah, no, it's water, glycerin, and then a couple other things. So no, nowhere near the top. But it also has a licorice root and licorice root uh, it's kind of like a natural niacinamide in that it helps lighten dark spots. So, like I said, I'm super excited. I, I don't know. Struggling with the plastic on here. And I do think this is a pop, I think, glass container. It feels, I guess, like glass. It sounds like glass. This is a $37 value. Pretty much everything I'm getting in here besides the eye pencil and the sugar scrub is like a $37 value. So absolutely got my money's worth. So it is glass. I will say this part up here is super like cheap plasticky feeling. But anyway, I love this. It says hydrate, plump, and tighten. Um, anyway, super, super excited to try that. I love the packaging on this. I was so excited to see this. I love anything Fenty. This package is just gorgeous. I love those colors. And this is the Cookie in Clean. Basically, it's her clay mask, which also has charcoal, which is great about detoxing and pulling out all the impurities. Again, absolutely love the packaging. Um, and this is $37 as well. I believe this goes on green and then turns black, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's, oh gosh, green and black's already mixed in, but no, I'm pretty sure like it kind of, there are black pieces in there, which I believe are the charcoal. And I believe when you put it on, it kind of like, um, almost like turns like a cookies and cream type thing, which I think is where they get their name. I love a clay mask. BioClarity is by far my favorite clay mask. I am out of that. So I am planning on using this tonight um, before I shower. Beyond excited. Love the packaging. So far, I have been really happy with anything Fenty skin. Um, and I cannot... White writing on the green cannot. Let's see. Indulge in this delicious whipped clay, charcoal detox, refines the pores, targets excess oil. It has a new mint green color. I don't know what the old color was. And it's supposed to like kind of feel cooling on the skin. Anyway, beyond excited. I think this packaging is A plus gorgeous. Anyway, beyond excited for that. And then we that rounds out my box as far as the five choices. I did pick two more items. One of them is also a Fenty Skin. This is a Cherry Rub Face Scrub, $39 value. I believe I paid $12. I have sensitive skin, and so if you have sensitive skin, exfoliation too much is bad. But I ha it's been a while since I've had a physical exfoliator and I know most people say that that's bad but my skin cannot take the acids and I do think every once in a while I really like a scrub and so when I, I I had been looking for one I couldn't find one that I really liked for a price point I liked at Target very happy I waited um and I guess I forgot to write down any ingredients on this um I let's see Looks like caffeine, citric acid. I know it's sugar is high up there. Um, anyway, I'm super excited to try this. I don't think I know anything about this as far as like how strong the scrub is. I prefer a scrub that dissolves fairly quickly. Um, anyway, very excited to try this. And 
I ended up buying this full size today as I was doing my research for the video. Um, I had loved this. I had had this before, I believe from Ipsy, but it was like the old, they kind of have, I, I believe a slightly new name and slightly new ingredients. This is the Ole Erickson or Ole Henriksen. I don't know. Strength Trainer Peptide Boost. And they happened to, I went from the web, Ipsy's website to their website and it was like 30% off. This is normally $52. And I, sadly there was shipping. So I, I only saved like seven bucks, but it's still saving seven bucks. I wanted to try this out again, kind of duel it with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because this has really good ingredients. You get more product. And so it's a way better value than Charlotte Tilbury. Sadly, due to this packaging, I don't think I'm going to be able to read it. But this has like five peptides really high up. It has allotin, a bunch of good ingredients. I'm not sure whether this has ceramides or not, but this has um, a, a bunch of things I really like. My skin really liked this when I used this. Um, so I wanted to give it a whirl. Like I said, I wasn't, I was wanting this before I bought full size, but for, I guess for it being on sale, I kind of went out on a limb. Um, both this and the Charlotte Tilbury just makes my skin look like butter skin. So I'm super excited to try it. Probably should have kept with my goal of like using this first before I got full size. But anyway, beyond excited. I love this box this month. That is not always the case with Ipsy. I feel like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I do feel like most of these products have I've seen in past boxes. I don't necessarily care about that. I care that they give me products I like, which again, doesn't always happen. But this month is A++++. Um, very happy. What do you guys think? If you got your Boxy Charm Ipsy box this month, what did you, what grade would you give it? I'm giving this A++. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.